What's up, my vapors? Glad to be back. Before I say anything today, before we get into anything, I mean, you already know what this is over from the title of the video, but before we do anything, without further ado, I need to give a massive, massive shout out to my boy Cody down at Big E's Vapor Shop here in Wichita, Kansas on Rock Road. I'm gonna, it, it just happened, guys. My E Fusion bitched out. It, it went it went full fucking retard like I took it down to, to biggies to get some custom screens on it uh, Cody was gonna help me out uh, we ended up plugging it in cord damn started smoking and his laptop started smoking I was like holy shit unplugged it and uh, he was like what in the world and that it like annihilated his cord and he's like well damn like I guess let's try another one it must have been a bad cord Plug another one in, plug another cord in, it starts fucking sparking. <laughs> and like smoke's coming out. I was like, holy damn. And then like we got it out. And it, yeah, it, it got it got fucked. I'm, I'm gonna be real, because I tried to bring it home and like just try and plug my lipo battery in it uh, with the USB. Nothing. Fried the USB port on on uh, my fusion, fried uh, my buddy's uh, USB port on his laptop. It was a bad day. But, yeah, he literally lent me uh, an incredible mod. It's a Lifebox mod. 250 of them made. He lent it to me because he felt my pain. And that is just, that's just a, a real dude right there. Like, if he knows that you can't vape for a while and he knows that you quit smoking to start vaping, like, that's just awesome. Like, everyone at Big E's, I just give you guys a lot of love. You guys are amazing, super knowledgeable. You guys uh, will talk about any question that I have. Love you guys. Okay, so uh, I ended up actually getting um, a mod I had ordered. Uh, so I ended up giving Cody his back uh, the day I got this because I obviously wanted him to have his mod back. And I was so excited when I first uh, tried this and started using this mod. And it's what I got my, my BFT for. Let's go ahead and bring it out. Can we just take a, take a close-up look of the unrelenting sexiness of this combo right here? Alright guys, already having some fun. So, as you can see by the title, you know what it is. I'm super, super excited about this juice. Uh, I haven't even smelled it for you guys. I've been letting it steep in my closet for over a week now. It is I Love Cookies by Mad Hatter. Ah, oh, let's get a close-up of that box. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at that. It's a mini oven. Come on now. Oh, man. You got your vaping facts. Zero calories. So, uh, yeah, three milligram, three milligrams of nicotine in mine. And I'll, uh, I'll read what, what I got on here, and then I'll let you guys see it. It's, it says the calories, zero calories. Total nicotine, three milligrams. This is a 60-40. So that's, that's pretty high PG. I knew that going into this, but... The flavor was just, it just intrigued the hell out of me. Real cookies, zero grams. <laughs> uh, sweet caramel drizzle, 14%. Hint of creamy strawberry, 11%. And tastes like happiness, 100%. Now, yeah, and then it's got some, you know, adult bunny and warnings on it. But is that not awesome? Like, this is the greatest, like freaking marketing for an e-liquid I have ever seen that side it shows some cookies and like a whisk up there like a mixing spoon shit and don't ask me how I knew that was a whisk but yeah uh, I'll give you a little closer look here uh, you'll see that that seal is not broken I have not touched this thing not even opened it so here we go but I'm gonna tell you right now damn like this a little bit of smell is just coming off the box and damn but all right let's see if i can figure out how to open this i think i saw one dude open it oh man oh man 
Look at that. Open up the box like a little fucking oven. That is just the freaking coolest thing. Vaped fresh daily. And you got little, little wrapping paper. That's so nice. Whew! Man, that smells good. Okay, so here's the bottle. I never met a cookie I didn't like. <laughs> That's cool, man. And they got like ingredients, little flower bag, and like stuff like that. That is so cool. I'm so so ready for this. Yeah, look at that color. And you can tell there's some steep action in there. And then there's the uh, the front of it. And there's that fresh seal, not tampered with whatsoever. So give me a second to take this one off, guys. All right. Okay, there we go. So let's definitely get a smell test off this bad boy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Exactly. I'm going to say, like, I feel like I just went to a Girl Scout stand and bought some of those Caramel Delights. Have you ever had those? The ones that are like the rings with like the coconut and chocolate drizzle. Holy shit. Yeah. Coconut smell. Strong cookie smell. And I do smell some chocolate drizzle in there. And you know what? Now, I think this has really helped that I've steeped it because I'm getting a background of strawberry, which is what they say on their box. I don't know about caramel. Let's get it. So I'm not really st smelling a strong caramel smell, but that is, that's wicked good smelling stuff, guys. All right, let's go ahead and put it on the cotton. So as you guys can see, that is fresh cotton. Cotton bacon 2.0. Fresh pick from the field. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start dripping this on that cotton, on those beautiful clapping coils that came with this BFT. Oh, look at that. I like that this juice doesn't look like it's gonna like just make my cotton look like fucking shit. That uh, circus cookie I had on there, guys, absolutely wrecked my cotton. It turned it black. Like, I don't even know what happened there, but whatever. Because I'm done with that juice. You guys know. Oh, it's spilling a little bit here. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm just uh, saturating a little bit, guys, because I definitely need to uh, burn that cotton taste off these this fresh cotton. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. more on there Ooh, sizzle 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 oh man guys I'm so excited all right let's go ahead and slip that tank back on just getting that tank threaded back in Ooh, nice and snug now let's fill it up fill this bad boy up Man. All right. Let's do it. You guys know how I feel about drippers, but like drip bottles. Like whatever you want to call this. Needle needle dripper, I guess. Yeah, there's gonna be a review coming out on this box as well. I'm super excited for that one because I've been using this mod non-stop for like the past three or four days beautiful <laughs> absolutely beautiful yeah it's taken me so damn long to fill this damn BFT up with this drip this like needle all right good enough for now all right guys so if you have a BFT you already know this but uh when you're after you filled it and you're about to put your cap back on your, your top screw cap Super important, thread it halfway, then you gotta turn that bitch over, and do the rest real quick, like that. Take a couple uh, no firing uh, hits off it, create that vacuum again.
And you'll see I still didn't do it fast enough because I do have a little bit of leakage, but now it's good. No leakage. We're ready to vape. All right, guys, you are tasting it for the first time with me, virtually. This is the first time. Here we go. Let's vape. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Holy whoa. That is incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay, now that I'm tasting it, caramely. I am getting a lot of caramel out of that. Come on. I'm getting chocolate drizzle. I'm getting coconut. Let's try it again for some strawberry. Okay, on the taste, I'm not really getting, not really getting strawberry. But, wow. Wow. Being a 60-40 blend, no throat hit. I'm not getting a big throat hit, uh, if any. But yeah, guys, wow. This is what I was wanting. I was, you, you remember the last video? Wasn't super impressed with circus cookies. This, wow. That's, I'm just speechless. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. So, right off the bat. Okay. I know that I talked about in the last video where I didn't want to try a juice out directly and then give you my feedback because I feel that, you know, uh... That's kind of like if you if it's if it tastes pretty good, it might be exaggerated, but this is the best juice I have ever tasted, hands down. I mean, who doesn't love cookies? I mean, if you don't like cookies, then you're not fucking American. No, I'm just kidding. Love you guys, but uh, uh, wow. Like, I taste coconut. If coconut's not your thing, don't uh say this to that juice to this juice. It's not uh it's not a fake coconut taste. It tastes like real. It tastes like shredded coconut in this bottle. Magic. Pure magic in this bottle. I, I need another I need another hit, honestly. So you'll notice this is uh this has been putting out clouds, let me tell you. Uh I have the uh this meter here, which is kind of, is kind of your power. I have it basically at 100, as you can see that, and uh, it's gonna it's reading it at uh, 5.47 volts. Let's do that again. You can see that right around that area. So it's a it's it's pretty decent. These are brand new, fully charged Efest batteries, guys. These are the greatest batteries I've ever used. I highly recommend these batteries, uh, these 18650s, to anyone with uh, that uses them. They are fantastic. They are safe. They, uh, I'm totally blanking on the uh, the milliamp hours. Three, okay, three ga three grand a piece. So six thousand. Excuse me, uh, three thousand or uh, six grand uh, with both of them in there, and it's it's uh, showing that 5.4, as you guys can see. Man, I love this mod. But, uh, whoops. Had it on backwards there. There we go. Wow. I know I've said that like a million times this video, but, uh, no burning. Uh, no burning, uh, going in or out. At least for me. But as you can see, these clouds. Vapor production is not massive, which is expected from uh, a juice that doesn't have a whole lot of VG. But, I mean, it still puts out. That's pretty, that's pretty decent. But, yeah, guys, to close this out, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible juice. Thoroughly impressed with this. Mad Hatter, you guys are rocking shit. I know you guys were uh, made the I Love Donuts 
and the I Love Taffy. I personally haven't had them, uh, but I mean to. Um, and I know those have been going crazy on the market, and they were insanely popular. So, mad props to you guys. You guys are putting out amazing juice. And it is evident in the I Love Cookies as well. So, yeah. Like I said, in conclusion, guys, highly recommend this juice. It is great for tanks. I don't know about drippers. I haven't personally put this in a dripper. You just saw me put it in this BFT. Um, that's all I've tried it on. I would recommend this for tanks because that's all I know. But putting this, uh, yeah, you can see that in a... Uh, Putting that in a dripper, that might be not so great. You might find yourself uh, wicking that cotton constantly, like after every hit, because this juice is so thin. So it's gonna it's gonna evaporate into vapor a lot faster than a, a more VG based juice would. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Again, thanks, Cody. You are the bomb, and. Yeah, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Next video is going to be a review on this mod. Stay tuned. See you later.